requirements for this quest or event, whatever, whatever you want to call it. You don't really need any requirements. I don't even know if you need this log, but there's a there's a point where you need to fuel a boiler. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, right. There's a part where you need to fuel a boiler, and I don't know if you need logs for that. But everything that you'll need for this, you can pick up at the event. So what you want to do, you want to go to Falador and go south. And you will see this new portal. Enter Dark Portal. That's what you want to do. Oh, fuck off. Right. I've already, I've already done this on my main, so this is combat level 6. This is my, my second account. Um, there's a deposit box over here, so if you you don't need anything to wear, like he's gonna give you a disguise, so you can put all your stuff in that box and it'll put it straight into your bank. So what you want to do is talk to Grim, and he will start your event for you. You want to choose the first option, and then the first option again. And then, okay, I'll help you. Basically, what what you have to do is get Anti Santa out of his house. So after after you say, okay, I'll help, you want to talk to him again and say, what do I do now? He's going to give you a disguise, and he's going to tell you to pick up his dirty underwear or whatever. Right, so you want to wear the disguise. So that Anti Santa will not be suspicious, and you want to try and take Anti Santa's underpants. You see, why why are you touching my unmentionables? Uh, you want to say, I intend to burn them to heat the house. He's not supposed to know that you're trying to heat up the house because he likes a cold temperature or whatever. So, I, I don't know why that is the option that you have to choose, but maybe it's like a, a trick question. And then, everything that you do, he's going to ask, why are you doing that? Why are you doing this? So, you want to try and enter this basement door here, and then he's going to ask you, why do you want to go in there? And then, what you want to say is, I'm looking for the toilet. He's going to go off on a big tangent, like, I don't know what he's trying to say there. Um... And then, what you're gonna do here is you're gonna have to light the fucking boiler, but my bad. My bad, my bad. You need to go out here first. Sorry about that. You need to go out here first, into the shed. This is where you'll get all your shit, so... You wanna search this shelf for a tinder box. Search that for a hammer. You're gonna need all these later on in the, in the event. Right, so you take the hammer. You want to go to the, the shelf, take the axe, and then there's a mop here as well, take that mop. My bad. Right. You want to go back into the house. Go to the basement. Again. Um, he's going to say, what business do you have? Uh, looking for the toilet. Go down. And... Use your tinder box on the boiler. See, this is where... I don't know if you needed the log. Nah, you, you didn't need the log, so you can just get rid of that. Um, go back up the stairs. And what you want to do now is go out to the shed here and collect some damp coal dust. So now that you've heated the boiler, all the icicles have melted, so the the room is now at a decent temperature. Well, not for Anti Santa because he likes being cold. So the room is now warm, and you now need to use the coal on the fireplace. And he's going to ask you, "Why are you doing that to the fire?" And you say, "I'm trying to fix the temperature in here." And he's saying, "Oh, it's far too hot." Blah blah blah. So you put the the coal 
into the fire and it's going to smoke up the whole room. Next thing you want to do is go to the fridge over here. And then he's going to ask you why you go to the fridge, blah, 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 blah. And then you're going to tell him, I just want to look inside. And then you search the refrigerator. You get five jars, close the refrigerator. Make sure you close it because your suspicion bar will go up. If that suspicion bar reaches the top, then you're going to have to do the whole event again. <laughs> so you do not want to do that. Uh, come outside here. And what you want to do is you need to fill these jars up with souls and these little skeletons that you see hover over in the grave. You want to use your jar on them. So you need to do this five times. Oh, they disappear as well, so it's quite annoying. Um, just try and be as fast as you can when you're collecting them. This one's going to disappear. Right. Oh shit, get that. Shit. And then that catch the last one. Oh what? That was a fail. Right, catch this one. There you go. And then what you want to do is use your trapped souls on this cauldron and this is gonna give off like a nice smell for the anti Santa and he's gonna he's gonna be attracted to it while you do this this event while well, you do the rest of this event shall I say so you want to talk to Anti Santa again or for the first time whatever and then you're gonna say come for a walk in the garden and then when he come when he goes outside he's gonna smell the cauldron he's gonna I don't know I think he's gonna eat it or whatever oh, look at that beard belly right uh Right, so now what you want to do, now that he's outside, go back to the Grim Reaper. And then you say, what do I need to do now? Each time you do a step, you can go back to Grim Reaper and he'll explain what to do. So, now we need to board up the windows to keep him out. So... The planks that we use here are going to scare him apparently, or at least keep him away. So what you need to do, the axe that you got from the shed, you want to use that. There's a tree over here and over here, and one there as well, and there's one back there. Right, so you want to cut six logs, cut six. Right, so once you have your six, you want to go over here into his workshop. And you want to use your deadwood log on the coffin plank machine. And this will turn all your logs into planks. So just sit back and wait for that. Right, once you have your, your planks, you want to go to this coffin here. You want to search that for some nails. And then you want to come inside again. This is where your hammer is going to come in handy. And for each window, you want to use a plank. A plank of wood on that window. So I'm going to use a plank on that. He's going to patch it up. Use my plank on that one. Use my plank on this one, and this one, this one over here as well. And then also this one. And now you're going to use your mop on all these puddles that you're seeing here. This is obviously when the icicles melted 
they've left a big puddle. So you want to clean up all of these puddles. There should be five. Last one over here. And after you've done this, you want to go and speak to Grim Reaper again. So talk to him. Say, what do I need to do now? And he said, and he says, I do believe you have done everything. And you have now finished your your event. And he gives you a, quite a lot of stuff actually. The best the best award that I can think of here is the Halloween sets. Like who wouldn't want that? See that's that's two hundred and fifty K right there. That's very nice. And you get a black Halloween mask, you get a skeleton a skeleton costume you get a Grim Reaper hood and a scythe. It's very nice, very nice. So it's a skeleton costume there. Black Halloween mask. There's your Grim Reaper hood and your scythe. <laughs> what was that? Talk at zombie head. Anyway. You have now completed the RuneScape Halloween event of 2015. Enjoy all your shit that you got from this event. Goodbye.